But we do have another guest who is about to join us now. And my next guest is someone who actually trained with Muhammad Ali and who is going to tell us all about that experience. Tony Tubbs, thank you so Good much you for doing? joining us. Tony, you're a <laughs> boxer. You yeah. actually trained with Muhammad Ali. Right. Tell me about that. You know, years, years ago when I was 16, I always seen Muhammad. So I joined boxing because I seen Muhammad work. Well, I had boxers in my family on both sides, my mother's side and my father's side. So naturally, it came a little easy to me to know how to take a punch and give a punch. And so how did you get to train with Muhammad Ali? How did that happen? I think, you know what I'm saying, I, I won maybe four national tournaments. And it was in 78, we, they wanted to start a, a Muhammad Ali boxing team yeah. to go over to the Olympics. Uh -huh. oh, now, so now, at, at this case, I was still winning fights. Yeah. But the day that Muhammad lost to Leon Spinks, he hired me because he said I got fast hands. I had fast hands. And what was it like training with him? Tell me. What's your you know memory what? of Muhammad Ali? You know, Muhammad taught me, you know what I'm saying, the way to manage my own self when I get hit. You know, because I already told him, I said, Muhammad, you busted my nose. I'm not eat I can't eat with you. I can't eat with you, man. He came and he came to me later that night and said, look, son, you got the right attitude. You got the right attitude for a fighter. He said, but don't you know I'm the greatest? <laughs> <laughs> Always the wit, <laughs> although he was the greatest. That's right. But what does, yeah. he, what does he mean to you when we See, remember him today here in know, Louisville? Was, what does he represent to you, Tony? Muhammad was a real father figure to me. You know, I was 16. And uh, when we had the bad news about the Muhammad Ali team not going to the 80 Olympics, you know, he told me I could turn pro. He bought my mama a home. You know what I'm saying? And I told him I'd do the rest. You know, and seven years later, I became champion. So he was and, really and, an inspiration. And Muhammad was at the championship fight, and he knew that I did whatever he showed me to do. So, you know, he was a great, he was a great person, really. And how much do you miss him? That must miss be. I miss him so much. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't, as he got older, you know what I'm saying, since he had the Parkinson's the, the, the disease, I want to show my love for him. Every time I could see him, I would always reach and hug him, and he would still, you know what I'm saying, move his, move his arm, so I know he still knew who I was. Was he also an inspiration to yeah. you, not just as a boxer, but as a black yeah. man? Yeah, yeah. Stand up. He, he stood up for whatever he, whatever. he always did. You know, Muhammad was one was one of the greatest persons in the world when it comes to good and bad. You know, now Muhammad has been nothing but good to whoever know him. You, you never hear nobody say nothing bad about him. They can't, or they didn't know Muhammad Ali. And Tony Tubbs, just a final question: What is your favorite memory of Muhammad Ali as we remember him today? Busting my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Tubbs, thank you so much for <laughs> joining you. us here on thank BBC you. News as and we you know remember what? Also, Muhammad Ali. Also, tell the click the Clisco's to call. I, I work with the Clisco brothers. Oh, okay. From BBC. Did well, both of them. That's great to know, Tony. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Okay. Enjoy the day. Thank that's you. Tony Tubbs there, a boxer who trained with Muhammad Ali, uh, one of the many people who come here to Louisville today, the thousands lining the street. Right now, the family have gathered at the funeral parlor here in Louisville, where shortly Muhammad Ali will begin his final journey through the streets of Louisville. People are gathering outside the Ali family home here in Louisville. His final procession will go through all the places that were so important in his life, where he learnt to box, uh, where he rode the streets with his bicycle, where he shadow boxed, and that he'll also come here to the Muhammad Ali Center where he wanted to preserve the vision of his life. So uh, we'll be here throughout the day for live coverage. And now back to you.